ki khubor ka batisi tv lawan ra shapi da ka orange nissan loom so pho near fire brigade shillong admissions are open at bdw international school enroll now Menteri Rangba Jong ke Jelala Konrad Konger Sangma haka arterik obanai rempang arajar arpuar bila play pad ba ya ke technology park haka snong um sauli ke badan ha New Shillong Township haka jing play ya ke technology park la sakhilang do sembot menteri Rangba Jong ke Jelala uba Preston Tensong bu menteri ke tenat information and technology uba Hamlet Son Dolling ke chief secretary ke Jelala ke Kong Rebecca V Suchiang bat ki wai ki wai de ki head officer Jong ke Sarkar Jelala I personally have been looking forward to and thinking about for the past 12 years, 13 years now. And uh, this is something that uh, people have been talking about for the past 20 years. And every time you read a proposal or a report from NASCOM, they will always say and talk about the human resource that the Northeast has and the potential that the northeast has in terms of the ites sector and so to be very very frank and blunt with you we are actually 20 years behind this should have happened 20 years back and we would have been able to take a huge advantage of it but nonetheless it's never too late we realize that in the it sector the fact that uh, the human resource is a very very obviously critical part all companies would like to ensure that they are able to connect and get the manpower at a much more larger scale and at a reasonable cost. And that is where this IT park plays an important role. So we have all our individuals, our youth going to Bangalore, to Bombay and to other uh, large metros where the cost of living is much higher where the, uh, you know, the real estate uh, cost is much higher and uh, obviously it leads to the employment aspect also creating and becoming higher. So therefore, this coming into the picture is going to help most of the companies cut their cost by a huge amount. So that's the number one factor that we have to remember. The second factor, why this is important, is because this location here, will allow the companies to have a plug-and-play model. Now, we have to realize that companies don't have time to spend a year or two years to build up their building and create the infrastructure and uh, then start the project. They need ready-made infrastructure. They need to be able to start tomorrow because they get their contract for six months, for one year, and therefore a place where they can come in and plug-and-play is ideal for them. Uh, another very important aspect is that uh, we have started the Shillong Airport. And the Shillong Airport is another aspect because uh, connectivity is an important issue when it comes to IT companies. No CEO of big company would want to travel for two hours, three hours by road. You know, they want direct connectivity to the location. And therefore, the airport is very close from here. And once we have the roads which are under construction, we will actually be able to bypass the entire Shillong city traffic and reach the airport from here in a matter of just uh, you know minutes. Uh, and the third, uh, fourth uh, aspect which we have is we also are going to have the helipad out here. So the heliport is going to be in this land itself and we are giving about 5 to 10 acres to transport department to put up a heliport or helipad out here. So obviously that again is another area because we really need to think 20 years down the line. We need the kind of infrastructure that will allow easy access to this location, will be an incentive for people to come and, uh, in, and you know, invest and start their projects out here. And the last and the most important aspect for the ecosystem for the BPO industry to grow is accommodation. And uh, as was being mentioned by the Honorable Minister, that uh, there are big projects like the Crowboro project which has been not completed for three decades. I'm happy to tell you that we will be completing it this year. So we are actually in the process, Taj Group has taken over that project and we expect that by April to May, we are uh, expecting it to be functional or at least completed. We are also expecting the Marriott Hotel uh, to be completed. 
So once we have these five star uh, units out here and hotels and accommodation, this is another area which is important for the BPO sector to uh, flourish. So it's not just having an IT park, it's having the connectivity to it, it's having the manpower out here, it's having the airport connectivity, it's having the five star accommodations. All these aspects are very, very critical to uh, make sure that the ecosystem for the IT sector and the BPO sector is there. Now that the submarine cables have landed in Chittagong, we are working very hard with government of India and with uh, you know, the government of Bangladesh to get those submarine cables connected up to Shillong. That again, as I said, is going to be a big game changer. And in order to see this industry, this sector grow to the heights that we envision and to, to take it forward, we will need the submarine cables because we're right now connecting all the way to Bombay or to Chennai. And I think the cost and the speed is uh, compromised in those aspects. So when it is right here below us, about five, 600 kilometers away, uh, it would make a lot of sense to land the submarine cables right here in this IT park. And that's really one of the big challenges we have, but I'm sure that we'll be able to take it forward. So this is really why this IT park is a very, very important uh, starting point, I should say, which will really completely change the IT scenario in the state. And obviously what it will do is, is going to create a huge employment for our youth. Now we have to remember that Meghalaya is going to add 50,000 youths every year to the workforce. 50,000. And this trend because of the population growth is going to continue for the next 15 years, 20 years. So therefore as a government, we need to plan for this in the next 5, 10 years what's going to happen. We can't wait for the next 5, 10 years to see that there's a large scale unemployment. So therefore, when we have this, there's going to be 1,500 direct employment. That's direct employment here itself, and which we have already heard, the companies are already coming in. But we have to also realize that we're creating huge indirect employment. When we have you know, people working here, there will be food that will be required, transportation that will be required, there will be recruitment that will be required. So you need companies, people that have to stay in hostels, people have to need accommodation. So there is going to be direct, indirect employment of maybe close to 4,000, 5,000 people just by this one IT park. So therefore, it's a huge source of uh, employment. And as mentioned, our people have a natural instinct to it because of the language proficiency we have. And also in terms of the, the attitude and the aptitude that our people have towards this. So therefore, um, I strongly feel that uh, this is going to be a great area for creation of direct and employment and indirect employment.